An overdue payment of $81 on a Bank of America credit card led to the following message from a debt collector. Stop you Go mother back to Africa. The recipient, Alan Jones of Dallas, says the calls came even after he told them his Bank of America account had been paid. The representative acted like, oh, we could call you as many times as we want. And the racist obscene calls continued late at night and early in the morning. So you we could call, man. He was hired there just seven months after leaving prison. They have a prison mentality. These are the people ACT chose to hire to collect debt for Bank of America. Someone reminded me I once said, greed is good. Now it seems it's legal. In Lynchburg, Virginia, in a case of mistaken identity, another Bank of America customer, Jeff Burke, was hounded with similar rough phone tactics. Yeah, why you be scared? Don't want to pick up the phone now? Huh? Is it because you remember what you said that? Or what your mom? Your cousin? Huh? Or what? Little punk? Burke said he received calls like that for months until they finally realized they had the wrong Bank of America customer. I had no way to put an end to the phone calls. That sounds like me a whole lot. A jury held both the callers and ACT responsible in a verdict of more than $1.5 million. Yet Bank of America continued to use the same debt collection agency, even after we sent them tapes of the phone calls. Get your mother up and go pick someone cotton field. The bank refused to provide anyone to talk to us on camera, so we went looking for its CEO, Brian Moynihan. He had a story for ABC. To ask him why his bank still used the agency and to give him a copy of the phone call. Any guys that are poor, smart, and hungry and no feelings. You win a few, you lose a few, but you keep on fighting. We can make so much more money. They think that our economy will do better if we just let the banks or their oil companies or the insurance industry make their own rules. They still believe that even after the Wall Street crash, even after the BP oil well blew, that we should just keep a hands-off attitude. They think we should keep doing what we did for most of the last decade leading up to the recession. So their prescription for every challenge is pretty much the same. And basically, basically cut taxes for the wealthy, cut rules for corporations, and cut working folks loose to fend for themselves.